Hello and welcome back to this series where I'm gonna be building an entire software business with only no code tools. In the last couple of videos, we looked at different ideas, how to find ideas, you know, vet those ideas, and then we looked at what different tools are we going to need to actually build out these software projects. So what we concluded in the last video is that Webflow is gonna probably be the best place to build this. Now it could be built with other things. It's not saying Webflow is the end all be all, but it's what we're gonna be using to build in this video along with a few other add-ons and plugins that are gonna make the functionality that we need in Webflow available. All in all, I've probably spent maybe like 10 hours um, on this entire project, uh, which is not a lot. And most of that time was spent like researching, looking through forums and Q and A boards, kind of like more fully understanding the need in the market. Uh, I think what was really valuable is I already know a lot about startups. And so this is maybe a key takeaway for you is build a project, build a business in a space that you already know a lot about because you're gonna know the pain points, you're gonna know the problems, uh, and then you know deeper research into the market to determine what exactly would be a good product to build. Now, this entire project, this no code challenge is only two weeks long. And so I don't have the luxury of, you know, spending a ton of time uh, doing all that. I actually need to build the thing. If I had all the time in the world, I probably would have spent more time, you know, doing pre-marketing, verifying the need and things like that. I'm kind of going not necessarily off a gut feeling, um, but it's not the most strong, uh, proven objective base that this product is needed. I just, I've seen several similar products and I think that this need is out there just from experience, but I could be very wrong. But the great thing about no code is that it's not gonna take a long time to build the entire platform, maybe only like a day or two. And so, even if I'm wrong, I didn't waste that much time. It's not like I spent three months building an MVP only to find out no one wants it. So um, I'm kind of excited to get started with Webflow. I've never used Webflow before. Uh, so I'm gonna be actually building everything from scratch right in front of you and you get to witness it all, uh, mistakes and all. And we're gonna be starting with the template that I showed you in the last video. Uh, so I've already made my Webflow account, but that's all I've done. And I'm gonna be using this recipe template because it's got everything I need with JetBoost, uh, which is like a plugin that we're gonna use for like the filtering and stuff. So I'm going to clone this project and then clone in Webflow. And this is, looks like it's going to uh, add it to my account and then from there I'll be able to like edit it and change things. So after cloning the site, I'm brought into the Webflow uh, page builder where there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, so I'm gonna familiarize myself with, with all the different tools and I think there's a little tutorial that popped up, maybe I'll go follow that and kind of learn how to build it. But I've used a lot of page builders before. They're mostly all the same. Um, what I need to think about is what pages I do need, right? Because this little like, page here where it's it has all the sorting and stuff. This is actually not going to be the home page. I'm going to need a sales page, which is going to double as the home page. And then I'm going to need a login page. And then I'm going to need the actual internal like dashboard where the software and the list are going to be stored, only available to people that log in and have an active subscription. So that is all gonna be handled with uh, Outseto, which is gonna be like the membership payment and authentication plugin that we're gonna use for Webflow, and then the filtering will be done with JetBoost. But this actual page uh, is probably going to be the internal page. So I'm actually not gonna do anything with this page yet. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make a new page that's going to be the home page. So when trying to add a new page, I already have to upgrade off of the free plan, which is fine. I knew I was going to have to do this. So I'm going to get the, I believe it's the CMS plan because that's the plan that I'm going to need in order to have the CMS to hold all of my different contacts for the actual product. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade to this and then continue on building. Now that I am designing the homepage, what I realize is I don't have a name for this software yet. And I also don't have a domain name. And I'm not gonna overthink it. Uh, a lot of people like overthink the name, uh, but the reality is most small software companies change their name a bunch. You know, they get acquired or they pivot. So I'm not gonna spend that much time thinking about a name. I'm probably just gonna go to Namecheap and whatever domain name that kind of makes sense that's also available is probably the one I'm going to get. So I'm going to go check that out and see what I can find. 
So after spending five or 10 minutes thinking about the name, I realize I'm a sucker for alliterations and promopitch.co is probably gonna be the one I'm gonna go with. I can get it for $8 for the year and it makes sense with what the product is. It's you know a promotional database where you can pitch your product. Um, so this is probably gonna be the name I'm gonna pick and I'm gonna go ahead and buy this and then integrate it into Webflow so that we can see the live site even though it's not even close to being done. All right, so I got the domain set up on Webflow, but I'm getting this, you know, too many redirected errors. I think I fixed it, but I think it's gonna take it some time to like, you know, flush out the system and actually work. But in the meantime, I made this as the homepage. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, it's just a fun looking gradient. I, I chose pink and I'll get to why in a second. Uh, but I want to talk about this, right? This, the header and the, the pre header and the subheader, like these are important because this is the first thing that a customer is going to see when they come to your site. You want to make sure that it's obvious what you're offering, right? So I say traffic, backlinks, and exposure by getting your startup featured on relevant sites. And that is exactly what this tool does. It helps you get featured on relevant sites for your startup that actually want to promote you. Now, most of the sites uh, that I found are open to, you know, featuring new startups uh, and doing deals with different companies. So that's great. Um, and this is something that I think is going to attract some attention and it's gonna be the first thing people notice. Now, as far as the color, um, <laughs> believe it or not, I just went to Dali and put in rocket ship uh, blasting off in synthwave style and it gave me this rocket ship here. Uh, so I took this rocket ship and I just kind of edited it a little, like flipped it around and then I put it in the corner and I still use that same gradient because I thought it looked cool. Uh, so that's why I went with the pink because rocket ship was pink. Um, no other reason aside from that. Um, so I might still, you know, clean this up, make it look a little better, uh, play around with it as time goes on. But I want to move on to the rest of the page, uh, continue adding more sections, explaining the product more uh, and things like that. So that's exactly what I'm going to continue working on. All right. So I have filled out this page a little bit more and I've got a, you know, here's how it kind of works. Here's what you get. I added an FAQ. Uh, and then I added a footer down here. What I am gonna add now is I'm gonna add a little pricing section here. Uh, and Webflow, so far, first impressions, really easy to build stuff. Um, you see I can like even like tilt the little cards here. I mean, you can do basically everything you can do in CSS naturally you can do in here. Uh, and then there's these little templates that are like built in, which are really nice. So I can just grab uh, like this pricing section and boom, uh, it's just, put in there just like that. And then all I have to do is just fill it out or style it slightly differently to like fit the rest of the page. Um, and we're good to go. So let's talk about pricing for a second, because I have put a little bit of thought into it. But I've been looking around at, you know, other similar services that do this, and they charge a lot. And I'm thinking, let's not do that. Let's charge a lot less uh, and then do a lifetime deal. And the thing with lifetime deals is they're incredibly valuable, not only for you as the founder, but for the customer that buys it. And it doesn't cost uh, any ongoing cost aside from just hosting this, you know, hosting the site itself. So I think running a lifetime deal to launch the product uh, at you know maybe a four or five times the the normal monthly rate I think will be really beneficial. So we're going to have our monthly rate and then we're going to have a lifetime deal that we're going to do. But I keep going back to this uh, create an offer idea that you know we, I already have on here that we have this master outreach template which I'm going to make. But I was thinking. What might be even more valuable is someone signs up and they get a, you know, like the highest tier. And that is, I would basically write the email for them. Uh, I would do the cold outreach for them and I would connect them directly with the blogs um, or these different sites. Because I mean, you know, we've got hundreds of sites um, that are going to be on here. And even going through those might be kind of difficult. So a customer basically just submits their startup and then they get back you know several already written emails 
and then the email addresses and then you know information about the blog or the site that they're gonna they're gonna send it to um, so then basically everything's done for them uh, so it's like kind of a done for you kind of thing and I've seen that as well on some other sites um, you know they're charging thousands of dollars for a service like that um, I personally have written a lot of emails so you know I'm pretty comfortable writing emails uh, that I think will get people's attention so I think that that would be a really valuable service that I could also add on as like a higher tier pricing so I'm going to think some more about exactly how much I want to charge but I know that we're gonna have like the base you know uh, subscription you know at some fixed amount per month we're gonna have like a lifetime deal that we're going to run probably on AppSumo um, you know maybe send it around the web and stuff and then we're gonna have like this higher level plan where um, someone can just sign up they just send you know a, a link to their startup I'll do all the research I'll write the emails I'll find the blogs that would be best fit for them and then I send them that back and I think that that would be really beneficial to people. So that's the direction that we're going in. I'm almost done with the whole landing page. I really have only been working on this for maybe a couple hours and I didn't know anything about Webflow to start. Uh, so the fact that I can build this page in just a couple hours with not knowing how to use the tool uh, is pretty sweet. Uh, so next up after I finish this page, I need to start integrating like the pricing uh, or I mean the checkout and then like the ability to log in and out and then we'll start working on the dashboard and then after that we'll basically be done. So that is all for this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.